Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Sunday morning, the day after we were at a big Christmas party last night. We had uh, so much fun. I would show you guys pictures, but we all sat for pictures and we let the men, like my brother-in-law and Sam, take the pictures. <laughs> Horrible. Anyway, today we are starting off our vlog at this liquidation store. We didn't even, we didn't even know it was here. The kids. Oh, and it's only $150. Come here, Mom. I want this like rotisserie oh. thing. All right. Wow. All right, let's go in. We haven't even gotten the store. The store door. Oh, that's an alien spaceship. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Her cat would love Is that. Move? She would love that. It's cool. But well, we do have enough of those. But they have really nice little stool chairs there. Love it. I love this place. Look at reindeer umbrella. Holy moly. Sophie found the makeup. I love stores like this. Hello. Hi. Looking around and see what we can find. Wow, what is that? It's a stylus pen. The smartest camera for kids. I love that. I found this too. Oh, I guess you should have bought this for Jacob. I, I still have to buy something for Jacob. It's 30 bucks. It's this. It's a gel. It shoots gel beads or you can shoot those. And it has its battery charged. Yeah, so it's really cool. We are in the wrong store. This is like an ex a cheap store with really good stuff. Oh, look, they got your baby can. So I want a baby can. Um, 30 bucks. <gasps> I want that. And it's, this is the Wi-Fi one. I know. So that's the kind that I want. It's It's works with Wi-Fi. I want it for the goats when they have give birth. But I'd put it in there today and then yeah. watch. Yeah, I really Grab like that. The oh, there's my record player. So another thing that I really wanted for <laughs> Christmas was a record player. I like that one. It is so cute. My kids have gone missing <laughs> because there's mini so many <laughs> mini receipt printer. I love stores like this. What are they? It's a acrylic nail thing and lip masks all right like in a container it has all right masks all right hold on to those gabby did you find anything i just want to point out that gabby's wearing my hoodie my sweatshirt she steals all my stuff because she loves to wear oversized clothes my dad thinks i'm awesome those are cute oh i found the pet section they have a pet section I spent literally 60 bucks on something for the for the dogs for Christmas. This is so freaking cute. All right, I'm seriously obsessed with this store. Obsessed. So the beauty stuff is buy one, get one free. Eyelash and brow serum. And vitamin C serum. Sophie is addicted to this stuff. She has more makeup in her house. Milk moisturizing cream. Look, they have rubber boots. You guys, we've had so much stuff. Like you think you're done at shopping and then you go to a store like that and you're not. I bought this for Aria, you know, my granddaughter Aria for Christmas. I'm gonna put it up for Christmas when they come. It's this really cute tent and it's got um, a carpet, like a fuzzy, really nice fuzzy carpet that goes inside. But little kids like her love to play with things like this. And it was so, such a good price. The rain has started. It's coming from the roof. Yes, no. Well, I didn't like that. I know. Okay. All right. What's it for? I want to get that water fixed before it starts pouring. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, it's Sunday afternoon oh, and it's on. pouring rain. Sam came out early this morning to do chores and I did the goat chores. And then now the girls are coming out to do their chores. Horses for us is so much more than just horses. For us, it's a lifestyle. For us, it's uh family activity it's something that we do together it's something that we share together as a family and i can't think of a lot of other things that are like that like for sure dogs are like that are you coming with me or are you doing your chores one thing we weren't expecting is the rain to show up even honey's a little wet they all came they're like it's family time the storm this is storm's rain sheet and it is always getting stuck. Everybody's everybody's trying to stay dry. Oh, Lola's in here. See, these are the outcasts. So this is the baby monitor that I got today. It was thirty dollars. 
I think it's so super cute. If it ever fell into your baby's crib, it's so soft and squishy, it would never hurt them. Yeah, but we don't use it for babies. Yeah, we're not gonna use it for that. So my idea is to hang it up. I may have to get a longer cord though, so that I can watch the goats. So I could spy on them. <laughs> what is that about? That's the funniest thing about goats is how they, dinner time. how they twist their head. They all think it's dinner time. Hi, huh, baby. <laughs> She's still our baby. Like, it's so funny. Sophie pretty much raised her from the time we bought her from the sales barn. And for the longest time, she had to just be with us. And because of that, she just loves Sophie. Don't mind the screaming in the back. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind the screaming behind that door. It's raining and they all want in. But <laughs> the laughing. they have, like, this whole covered area. And lots, of, and, Leo too. and lots of hay. Oh, <laughs> and Lucy and Leo too. I think, listen to the rain. I think they actually want in. You guys want in? Uh, <laughs> That's our buck. He's like, help, it's wet. <laughs> it's funny because we have like three dark goats and then, our, and then our white goats. Uh. All right, so this is a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be to set up on my phone. I have to connect it to my phone and then I have to set it up. I don't know, it's a Wi-Fi one. So this is a little harder than I thought to set up. So I'm gonna wait and let Sam help me with it. But I'm gonna, so I'll do it a little bit later. But I changed where I'm gonna put it. I really wanna watch the babies for now. So over here, so just wait, I'll show you. So over in this section of the barn, this is where we store our hay. We have four bales left. Four bales will last us like a week with goats. Anyway, so over here, um, I have this stall where the baby go. Then I have this stall where it's gonna be like a birthing pen. So for now, I'm gonna watch the babies. I think I'm gonna hook it right here so that I can watch this stall. And then when the babies, it's time for the babies, I'm gonna move it over and put it on this stall so that I can watch. I basically bought it so that I can see if any goats are acting weird. We actually watch our goats so often that I, I will know right away if one's in labor. There's lots of ways to tell, but I'll know when one's Walk acting different. Uh-oh, come on in. <laughs> I'm anxious to set up the monitor so I can watch at night. Even though it stresses me out to watch the goats because they're mean to each other. So I can't tell if this goat is pregnant. This is where we play. This is how we play musical, musical grain. Because one will spill hers, and then they just keep changing <laughs> what the bowl they eat from. She keeps acting like she's in heat, but for like 30 seconds. Like she'll just have minutes each day where she looks like she's in heat. But if you can see that side of her belly, she looks pregnant. And Sophie said she swears she saw something kick today. So she'll be due in about, I don't know, seven weeks, six weeks. Yeah, she's all, she's due in about six weeks if she is pregnant. So you might see like moving in there, but you guys see, it looks like, it looks like there's a hard lump in there. I don't know if she'll let me touch her. I just want to touch you. Ah. Just let me touch your belly. <laughs> Birth is gonna go well with her. Oh, you're here. Sam to the rescue. Makes me excited. He's gotten already further than, I've, than I was. Ellie. What? What's wrong? Are you trying to show me something? What, what do you see? You see the kitty food? You want the cat food? What? This is the first time she's ever done this. She's trying to tell me something. What? What do you see? What? What is it? Isn't that weird? Did she see a ghost? What is it? What? So she chases the cat. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. We have an electric heater in this room. How am I just noticing this for the first time ever? Is it plugged in? 
Look at, she wants something. Oh, I think it's plugged in. You guys, I think this electric heater is plugged in. I'm, I'm gonna turn this sucker on. Imagine. Clean it off a bit first. Okay, I think I have it turned on. But what's confusing to me is that it's plugged in underneath the wall here. I can't see in there. That is cool though. I'm gonna get Sam to figure this out. We're gonna have a heated tack room. This is my cat mat. I've used it for the goats before. This is the mat that I planned. Do I smell it? That's the mat I plan to use to keep the cat warm in winter. But if I get that little heater to turn on, we'll have like a warm room. And when the babies, the goats start giving birth, because we have one due in February, we can actually bring them in here, the mama and the babies, if on like really cold times or just like the first week when you really want them to not get cold. I don't like to do that though because then they're not accustomed to the cold. But oh, I love that. Did you know there's an electric heater? We have a heated tack room. Did you know? It is plugged in. I don't know if it was off. Anyway, I want you to check it later. I want to use that. I wonder if you leave the tack room door open if it would heat like a part of the barn or at least like make it not as freezing cold. That would be, that would be amazing. I literally thought I'd seen everything there is to see on this farm. I don't know how I missed that. I've never had a heated tack room. Okay, that's not true. At our first barn with Fiona, we had a furnace in there. They didn't keep it on all the time, but if it got really cold, they would turn it on. So the so the tack room was a little bit heated, like was sometimes heated when you needed it to be heated. And then at another barn, that room was heated so that nothing would freeze, but it wasn't like heated, heated. I don't know. I, I want a heated, nice warm tack room that I can come down and maybe move my feed stuff in there in the winter so I'm not freezing cold when I'm getting food ready. Or I can like set up a baby goat area or the cat can be warm. Like, I want a heated room. I don't know why this excites me so much. Oh, it's working. It's working. Holy heck, we have a heated tack room. All right, comment yes below if that excites you. That is so exciting. Imagine our baby goats go into labor at night and we're having to do like a gazillion barn checks to make sure that they're okay and make sure that they don't need us. And it's freezing cold in the barn. I could literally move them to that room or I could sleep in that room. So then I could set up a cot in that room and sleep in that room because it's heated. Like, uh, this is like a miracle. Today is like a miracle. I just read that it needs a micro SD yeah. card for it to work. So I have one at the house. I'll bring it back down later. So it's probably not gonna work today. It will work tomorrow though. And we have a heated tack room. That is it, we're gonna end today's video. I'm going to just show you that we now have gone from five to eight baby chicks. I don't know if any other ones are hatching, I haven't checked yet today, but we have eight little new baby chicks. Ruby's like, I want to eat them. I am so excited about the heated tack room. There's gonna be a 24 hour challenge after Christmas in that goat barn for sure. And it's gonna be exciting. I'm so excited to set it up into like a bedroom and all hang out there, so fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?